So the hope is that it still works with this force field, right? That's the hope, but I have a feeling. Also, I think that's a limited. Oh no, what you can, you still can. This is insane. Okay, so this is, this is a pretty cool weapon. Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today I wanted to try out the Crack Pet Show, and it's a bullet hell action roguelike uh, that seems very, very interesting. Um, obviously got a very, you know, kind of unique cartoon uh, style, uh, and this video is actually sponsored by Vixa Games uh, and Indie Boost. Uh, they wanted me to check out the game, uh, and I kind of already had my eye on it anyways, so, you know, just wanted to let you know, like, staying transparent, uh, but we're gonna just jump into it and give my first impressions of of the uh, game and I'm in I'm excited because uh, this game seems very interesting and oh okay Ooh. oh okay so it seems like a game show version of like Super Tree Friends or whatever that um, old kind of insane show was. So we're moving on with WASD. Uh, we're dashing. Uh, you aim automatically. Press left click to shoot. Q and E to change target. Oh, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting this. Because I was thinking it was going to be kind of somewhat similar to Enter the Gungeon and stuff where we could aim freely. But uh, some weapons can shoot over obstacles. Press F to pick up the weapon. Okay, though that I mean I guess we'll have to see how it works right because if anything maybe it allows you to do the bullet hell dodging more or something uh, pick up an item F and hit uh, To use it. So we're gonna go ahead and right click. We actually got a health back um, I don't know. I'm assuming that has Limited uses or whatever. We already got an achievement good student um, Okay, oh geez. Okay. What is this um, perk frenzy increase your shot frequency when your health is low or uh, damage boost aura. An aura surrounds you, increasing the damage dealt by you and your teammates who are inside the aura. I wonder if this, this game might be co-op something? I don't know. We'll have to see. Or we get things. So, uh, your first perk, it has a special property to your character. Don't worry, after some time and brain damage, that zap only tickles. You can check the description of any active perks by opening the pause menu at any time for free. So we do that, and then, okay, we can look at our perks or whatever. Um, and I guess, okay, we can do that. Okay, okay, let's do this. Let's see what this is about. Uh, this stage uh, conjures a special item. Sadly, this only happens after the stage is cleared of enemies. Oh! Okay, so we have, you know, kind of like the Slay the Spire little root here. Uh, after defeating the enemies in the stage, a friendly goldfish will grant our participant a unique perk. Um, a special item. Let's get a unique perk. I like I like the concept of that more. So we'll go ahead and uh, do that. I don't know how I start. Okay, we've got to press enter to start here. Okay. Okay, so I'm interested to see how the the auto aim kind of works, right? It seems like okay, so I'm automatically aiming at whoever's next to me. That does that does make it very feel very interesting, right? Okay, so let's see what was our perk here. Oh, it even told us spike skin. Whenever you touch an enemy, you damage them. Keep in mind that this does not protect you from taking contact damage. So makes sense. Okay, so that oh that dash is pretty far. I wonder if that gives you invincibility frames. I guess we'll find out. Um, okay, so we're locked in this. We gotta do okay, press enter here. Okay, are those gonna be spikes? Okay, those are in fact spikes. So when I'm firing, um, I do move a little bit slower. So that is the penalty of um, you know, normally the penalty would be you have to aim or whatever. Um but I don't have to be aiming here. Uh, what is this? F, new item force field. Create a force field that stops enemy projectiles. Uh, we would have to give up bandages for that. Um, how many uses does the force field have? It has, oh, okay. Maybe we'll take that. I, I don't want to give up the band-aid, but um, okay. Most common stage doesn't contain any special rewards. Darn. Okay. What is that? What is that radius? Did we already? Okay, well, first of all, let's see. Oh, wow, we can shoot out of the force field. That's actually insane. How long does that, that felt like it lasted like the entire duration of that room. That's actually insane. 
Nobody uh, knows what surprise awaits our participants in this stage. Will they take a chance? Well, don't really have a choice here. Don't really have a choice here. Okay, what is it? Oh, okay, well, we're gonna force field. I wonder if the force field has health or, I mean, because this is, this is kind of insane here, right? Oh, that guy just killed himself, okay. I'll take it. I don't know if there's any reason to destroy those things. Uh, for clicking the stage, our heroes will receive a new weapon. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so just force field immediately. Oh, oh, okay. I uh, I clicked outside of the monitor. Oh, he got in. He got in my force field. How dare he? Oh, wait, maybe I can only shoot through the force field because of my weapon. Maybe most weapons can't do that because this seems very strong. Um, also, does this have limited uses? Damage eight per hit. I don't know. It, it, it has a number down, so maybe it does have a limited use. Okay, so we got a indecisive gun. It shoots random bullet patterns depending on the phase of the almighty bunny moon. Oh. Okay, can I compare the damage here? So that's eight damage per hit. This is random uh, times five damage per hit, I guess. Um, okay, okay. Um, I want to test the force field thing, but... Um, after defeating the enemy, uh, friendly goldfish, we get a, oh, that's the unique perk thing. So, the hope is that it still works with this force field, right? That's the hope, but I have a feeling, also, I think that's a limited, oh, no, what you can, you still can. This is insane. Okay, so this is, this is a pretty cool weapon. It's a pretty cool weapon. It's a pretty cool weapon. Um, okay. Steel shoes makes you immune to traps. That seems pretty good. That seems pretty good. I like that. Okay, so we're gonna get a new weapon here. Oh, maybe I could have chosen. I might have been able to choose which thing I went and I don't know. So I can just stand on these things now. I'm just not, I don't have to worry about this. I'm eventually going to test if we get iframes, but you have so little health. I don't think now is the time to test it. Okay, new weapon here. Kind of like the weapon I have, Melody Gun. Fires more powerful bullets the longer you hold down the fire button. Don't release it at all, actually. Try to keep the rhythm to kill your enemies. Oh, so it goes faster and faster. The only thing is, is you can't move while that's happening. So I'm gonna keep my thing one. I'm gonna keep my, my, uh, my random little gun thing here. Okay. Oh, 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 did I just, oh wait, I can dash. Wait, I just dash through. Okay, so you, I can dash through enemies. We obviously have that one perk. I would assume that means it gives me invincibility frames. That would be my assumption. Um, because normally you would take contact damage, right? So that, that would be my assumption here. So we got another um, just normal common stage here. I'm gonna save my force field. The, the fact that it automatically homes on enemies is very interesting. Very interesting. There we go. And I don't know what these likes are, but we're getting likes that are at the top left. A moment of respite for our participants. Our heroes will be able to exchange their likes. Okay, there we go. Speak of the devil uh, for new stuff here. So we have 154 likes. We could get more of the force field. We could get half a heart. Uh, we get a sniper rifle that's a pink. That sounds kind of cool. Um, surprise item. You know what? Screw it. Let's buy a sniper rifle here. Let's have a sniper rifle. We can also sell items. Wait, can I sell... Wait. Could I sell this thing? Because I'd like to refill my health here. Um, uh, he buys weapons from the show's participants. Fortunately, even if a competitor sells their last weapon, they won't have to fight with their bare fists. They'll be given a start-in weapon instead. Sorry, no take-backs. Yeah. Okay, so got an achievement. No way I can sell a starter weapon, can I? No. Ha! <laughs> I thought I was I thought I was smart. Okay, here we go. So we'll go ahead and um, you know, get our health back up. That's all we can afford. We've got a sniper rifle now. Okay, boss stage. This is the final encounter in this episode. Okay. Oh, Mega Toad. Okay, okay. Oh, we do a lot okay, actually, you know what? Force field. 
just gonna kind of catch. Oh, this sniper does take forever. We do a lot of damage, but this takes forever. But I'm gonna force field. Oh, wait a minute. Is he about to? No. Okay. Well, force field's gone. So force field. Okay. Yeah. So that is a single use. Obviously, we're out of it. We've already got him down to half health. Oh. Oh. We took damage there. How dare you invade? Ah! How dare you invade my force field? Ooh. Okay. Okay. This is getting a little spicy. It's getting a little cocky here with my force field. It's getting a little cocky with my force field. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, you definitely get invincibility frames there. Oh, no, 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 oh, he was up in the air, so the auto-aim didn't work. There we go. Get out of here, got an achievement Toad Slayer. Okay, what is that? We got something. We got another something. Also got a lot of likes. Another achievement, newbie. Uh, you got your first upgrade coin. Trophy is one for killing the boss. You can use it in the lobby to upgrade unlocked stuff. Be sure to try it out. Um, new episode unlocked. Ooh. Okay, so do we keep on going or does that is that the, the win here? Uh, this is our uh, fine-ass lobby where our brave participants prepare themselves for the next episode. Here, every participant chooses their initial loadout and upgrade skills if they have the required coins, of course. When the participant is ready, they begin the next episode uh, by entering the bright round area with the cryptic sign that says start. Okay, so we can choose different people here. Um, so we have a shark, we have a bunny, we have the cow, and we have the chicken. Um, let's go ahead and check. I don't know. Does it, uh, also, yeah, it seems that this game has local multiplayer. Uh, which is, uh, pretty, pretty interesting. I guess people just, uh, you know, would join in via, you know, multiple things or whatever. Uh, what is this? Oh. Choose perk. The goldfish doesn't grant you any wishes, but she does upgrade your unlocked gear. So choose a, uh, she needs an upgrade coin to do that. Then you choose your upgrade from two randomly drawn items, but it's worth it. So we used an upgrade coin. So we can either upgrade damage boost aura. Um, the aura surrounds you increasing damage dealt by you and your teammates who inside the aura. So it's just increasing our damage or one of you touch an enemy. Let's go ahead and, oh, so this isn't, okay. So, we, okay, wait a minute here. Oh, okay. This is, I thought this was for what we had equipped, but this is now, okay. So it's just for everything. We're upgrading everything here. So the indecisive gun, um, uh, I like the indecisive gun. We'll upgrade that. Let's upgrade the sniper. I mean, we have this, uh, well, um, electric and let's just keep upgrading the sniper. I like that sniper, but I obviously don't think we have it here. So collection, this is just showing us. Can I mean can I choose what I start with? No way I can choose what I start with. I don't think so. Okay, this is it, it's just kind of like a uh, bestiary or something like that. Um, so what is this here? The state of the art uh, machinery is the players link to the show's sponsors. Becoming more famous and killing bosses grants the participants trophies that can be exchanged for bonuses here during the show. Experienced players even switch sponsor bonuses in between runs for the best effects. Um, so you either have the kangaroo, uh, the lone sharks, or the dirty kittens. Um, and so obviously, I think you probably gotta like go into. Um, you know, specific things or whatever. So, um, healing hearts, small chance that defeat enemies will drop healing hearts, unlock social stages, or um, you can carry two weapons instead of one, press um, three to switch your active weapon. That's insane. Let, let's unlock social stages, because that seems to be like an actual like new mechanic or whatever. So we'll, we'll do that. Um, okay, so then you have the assault, which starts with the regular gun and smacks an enemy with an anvil, deals damage is quite funny. You have the zap gun sometimes, stuns enemies, places a turret on the ground, ooh. Uh, medic, uh, throws bullets, um, and then uh, there's got the healing thing, and then you have the tank with the shotgun and taunt, provokes enemies to attack you for a short time, additionally grants unvulnerable during this um, period, no strings attached. Oh, okay, well, let's go engineer. You always know me, I like, like the engineers here. We only have four instances of the sentry gun, but okay, let's do this here. Um, so we already beat Prodigy, so I guess now we're going to, um, uh, rising stars, I guess. So I don't really know how exactly this works here, but we'll see. I don't know how the episodes work. Okay. Um, so we could either have knockback as knockback effect to every attack or bullet steal area damage. Let's take that. That sounds kind of insane. That sounds kind of insane. Okay. Um, let's see. After defeating this enemy in this dangerous stage. So these are a bunch of dangerous stages. Yeah, let's do a bunch of dangerous stages. That's easy peasy. Game felt somewhat easy so far, so might as well, like, you know, absolutely throw, right? Okay, so that's the area damage. That's very interesting. I hope that I can't hurt myself. So this is... Most of the time, you know, I'm probably going to be relying on the auto-aim, I'm assuming. Well, I mean, I always have to 
do the auto aim. Um, does feel weird. Let me just go ahead and let me just double check. There's not a um, controls. Okay, yeah. I just wanted just wanted to like make sure there wasn't a way to um, give myself like free aim, right? Because it just it yeah. I mean, it, I think it'll make sense once we, uh, you know, get a little further. Okay, um, stress factor. After receiving damage, your body materializes some of the stress it built up and leaves it on the ground. Well, hopefully we don't take any damage. Places your contact lenses with new ones so you can see better and have better shooting range. This is 10% range. I guess we'll take that. We got eagle eye. Okay, okay. A harder version of the most common state. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I don't know how effective this will actually be the, the the area damage or whatever But if there ever ends up being a lot of people right next to each other, then that's when it's gonna be useful Oh, we're getting multiple waves of enemies now We're getting multiple waves of enemies here Getting multiple. Oh, it's okay. 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 That, that, that did a little bit of damage to the because of the AoE damage it Did a little bit of damage. So we're getting all the likes you get likes Based on how many people you kill, obviously. Well, I, I mean, I would assume. Which I guess is technically set, because you've got to kill all the enemies, right? I mean, you might get extra if you don't take any damage or something. There we go. And there's that. Okay, okay. Let's go. Okay, so now we're going to be getting a new weapon, which we've just been using as starter. Also, just saving my, um, because I know that they're single-use things, um, we are going to be saving, uh, you know, the sentry guns until we actually need them. Um, because, yeah, I, I don't feel like I need to use these right now, so might as well just, like, have, oh, I took some damage there. Oh, okay, so you cannot accidentally, uh, kill yourself by falling into pits. That is, that is good to know. That is good to know. Okay. What are we getting here? Rocket launcher, like a sandwich launcher, but with rockets? Remember, uh, sandwich rockets steal additional area damage. Well, if we're already, oh, whoa. I, you can hit the people in the back. Oh no. Oh no. I can't really, I guess you have to aim left and right, so I can't hit those guys up there as easily, but, um, okay. Um, oh, the special item. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna want the item, right? Because I already have my sentry gun, so... Holy cow, the reload on this is insane. What the? What the? This gun's insane. I don't even know if I'm gonna want this here. Explosive mine? Just an anticipated mine? I mean, I'll use it here. Also, can you hurt yourself? Let's see. Let's see. Wait. Oh, okay. I'm assuming you don't trigger them. You know, I'm, I'm gonna keep my turret, honestly. I'm gonna keep it so I can just fight the boss, like a million bosses at once or whatever. Or not a million bosses at once, but when we fight the boss, we can just place a bunch of sentry guns. Um, a shop, okay, well we got the sniper, but our thing's doing pretty good so far. Still shoes, let's, yeah, let's be immune to traps. Go ahead and heal one. I like that. Who are you? See the slipper fish? She swaps weapons with the show's participants. You could try your luck. You might get something better or worse. She has a lot of things to do, so she won't always be available. Well, no, nah, I like my rocket launcher. Thank you very much, though. Okay, which path do we want to take? Um, that would give us a shop. This is gonna, yeah, give me the hard thing um, at the very end. I want a challenge here. I want a challenge. I can't even take damage from these things anymore. Dude, we're just like one shot. Well, we're not wanting shot on that guy, but... Having the extra range for this thing is pretty good, and I'm assuming that we have a slightly stronger range. Well, I mean, I know we do. We have 10% more range, but that seems pretty effective. I don't know what this is. That's just a TV. That's just a TV over there. Um, oh, we can actually switch still? Um, I'll go ahead and take that one still. Go ahead and take that. Okay, boom, boom. Let's go. Let's go. This rocket launcher is insane. What? This rocket launcher is insane. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, yeah, give me the hard give me give me hard enemies. Give me hard enemies here. I'm probably not going to take the uh, weapon it gives me because this rocket launcher is so good. 
I mean, I'm one-shotting most of the people, and I can just, like, fire this as if it's, like, an assault rifle. Oh, 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 okay, it spawned a lot of the people, but not like that matters to me. No, oh, 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 oh. Not like that matters to me. Let's go. Okay, what do you want me to take? Crossbow, its arrows pierce the targets. That would do 35. Oh, wow. Oh, see, that, this, yeah, but it might penetrate, but, like, look how faster I can use the rocket launcher. Dude, this rocket launcher seems to be the play here. Seems to be the play. Okay, so we can what, have another shot. Is that what this is? Um, Grenade launcher? Uh-uh. Surprise perk? We'll do a surprise perk. Um, bouncy bullets, your projectiles bounce off walls. Oh, I just clicked out of the game again. That's hilarious. Don't know how effective that will be if we just can auto aim on people, but we got this. We got this here. We got this. Okay. So now we're fighting sludge swine here. Okay, here we go. This is, this is where we get our sentry guns here. Okay, I can't place any more, I'm assuming, till that cooldown. But we have one of them. Are you going after the sentry gun there? Yeah, these bosses are definitely where the, um... Oh, that has a limit of time. Yeah, that's just not... It's, I mean, I guess it's starting gear for a reason, right? But yeah, these bosses are definitely where more of the bullet hell part comes into play. Oh my gosh. Still haven't taken damage, though. But yeah, I can kind of just fully focus on dodging and just keep pressing left click because of the fact that I'm just kind of auto aiming on him. Um, okay, so uh, let's get that. Oh, we got two trophies this time. Let's go. I think everyone kind of just died because I was firing rockets all over the place. Oh, there's mini bosses potentially. Okay, we unlocked a new episode here. Unlocked a new episode. Okay, so I don't think there's any difference. We'll go ahead and play the chicken here. I don't think there's any difference. Um, okay, let's go ahead and spend our stuff here. Um, okay, we can upgrade bullet steel area damage. Replaces your contact. Oh, more range. Let's do more area damage. Because I can see that being good if we keep upgrading it. Um, let's upgrade the turret. Um, throws bullets. Yeah, I like that. Um, the indecisive gun. Okay, okay. Now we can do the sponsorship thing here. Um, so that's, wait, oh, I didn't have it assigned. I didn't have it assigned that entire time I had, wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, unlock social stages. Melee enemies have less health. Range enemies have less health. Increase the, okay, well let's do, you can carry two weapons instead of one. Um, and then we'll just do we'll just do one of each, I guess. Okay, so we actually have them activated. We didn't have them activated last time. Um, see, engineer, um, pew gun, um, lobo gun. Let's take a shotgun. I think a shotgun. I, the taunt isn't gonna be the most useful to us, but okay. Now we're gonna do going deeper here in season one. Okay. Let's see. Knockback has a knockback effect every attack. Frenzy, increase your shot frequency when your health is low. Well, we never go on low health, so we're gonna take knockback. See, I say that, and then it's gonna, you know, it's uh, <laughs> not gonna work like that, but um, let's, I want a better weapon, but I don't need two weapons, though. Um, yeah, we'll do that one. That one gets us a weapon eventually, gets us a lot of perks as well. I think that's a good, that's a good little starty out. It's a good starting point here. Okay, let's see how this shotgun works. Let's go boom, boom. Okay, so yeah, you definitely want to get closer to the enemies here so multiple of those pellets will. Though, me doing that's probably going to cause me to. Uh, oh. Probably going to cause me to take a little bit more damage than I would like, but that's okay. After receiving damage, your body materializes and stresses. Okay, so we kind of like leave a mine when we take damage that does 50, which is a lot in this game. So, um, go ahead and get an item here. I don't think the anvil, th th this class, I don't know, that like the immunity or whatever. Oh, we can still fire. Okay. 
So we might as well just use the soft cooldown then, because we're about to probably replace it with something else. Oh, 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 come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Damage, uh, creates an ore that increases damage dealt by you and every teammate. Okay, so it's effectively just giving us... Oh, okay, it's, a, it's an item that we actually have to use, so... Okay. Okay. Okay, so we will take damage from traps here. Dude, yeah, this shotgun sucks. I mean, it's a starting weapon, so I don't expect it to be crazy. Oh, 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 I took damage. We're increase our damage here. Oh, that, that does increase. Oh, oh, okay, I took even more damage. Yeah, this shotgun, I don't want to be next to enemies, man. I don't want to be next to enemies. And we don't have to? We pushed them on the spikes. Let's go. I like that the spikes go away after uh, after you clear the room. Okay, this is going to be a harder stage. Yeah, maybe we should have gone for a weapon earlier on. I don't know. Maybe that was the play. Oh, man. You, you got to get so close. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just let's actually use our items here. This is like doubling our damage. This is doubling our damage here. Oh, oh, yeah, see, I'm taking tons of damage. This shotgun thing. Don't know how much I like this shotgun. Don't know how much I like this shotgun. Um, okay. Oh, is this gonna be a mini boss? This looks like it might be a mini boss. So we'll, we'll save our item for if, oh, oh my gosh, we're already at one health here. I'm at half a health here. Dude, I'm telling you, getting close up to enemies when you can just auto aim them from afar. Ah! Nope. Oh. I could have sworn I took damage there, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I somehow was a pro. Maybe I was somehow a pro. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna yeet ourselves over here. You can dash pretty far. Okay, we got this. Oh my gosh, what was that sound? Jeez. We're gonna. We're gonna use our item. I feel like we need to. We need this to actually do a decent amount of damage from afar here. Okay, I'm coming for you, mister. Coming for you, mister. I don't know why it shows 88 damage. Oh, this just means perk. Okay, chain attack. Projectiles bounce between nearby enemies or increase your shot frequency when your health is low. Even though we are low, let's go ahead and do the bounce attack. That seems that seems really good. We are at one half health. Okay, we're getting a shop though at least. We're getting a shop. There's a lot of stuff I want. Ooh, what is that crazy shotgun? Fire seven bullets at once in the target's general direction. Okay, well first of all, let's heal. Oh man, shockwave generator generates a shockwave around you, dealing. I don't want something. I want something close. I'd love to get more health, but bullets knock back enemies. Okay, we're just gonna do that. I would. Actually, can I sell this? No, I can't sell that. I'd love to be able to buy the crazy shotgun, but we're gonna do this. We don't need full health. We got we got a nerf gun. We got a nerf gun. And it's gonna bounce between people. Um, at this point, I might as well do the hard enemies. I, I think now that we have something that we can shoot from far away, that's what matters. I think it was just having to get up close and personal to the enemies. Oh, dude, it bouncing in between people? Dude, that's sick. So they have to obviously be like close enough to the, the people, I think, but. Uh, tornado turns you into an unstoppable tornado that deals damage by touching enemies. We'll go ahead and take that. Go ahead and take that. Uh, I mean, I don't know, maybe we should have kept the other one. Now that I think about it. But this is more uses, so. You gotta keep that into consideration. Oh my gosh, the screaming of these guys. But yeah, holy cow, the bouncing attacks? That's, uh, it's pretty good. Imagine if you had, like, the rocket launcher with something like this. Oh, no, no, don't let me take damage. I won't be taking damage here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, did I just take damage? I did not. I was good at least. Okay, some more enemies here. These later episodes, they're definitely, like, it's definitely picking up the difficulty. The first ones were kind of easy. And I don't know how much of it was me having that Oh, he dropped a heart! Look at that, that was because of the sponsorship thing. Dropped a heart over there too. 
They're I guess they were technically half hearts. They were technically half hearts. Okay, so it doesn't, I mean, even though it's auto-aiming, it's not necessarily like full-on auto-aiming because there were still a couple of those that missed, which um, is, is interesting. I don't know what I'd do with that information, but it is information that I have, so. Oh, uh-uh, you ain't damaging me, mister. You ain't damaging me, mister. Uh-uh, uh -uh. oh, no, no, no. Oh, I did, I did just take damage there. Did take damage there. Okay. Oh. Nice. Um, big bullets, your bullets become bigger. Oh, those are in fact bigger bullets. I don't know. Does that just help us like get hits or or what? Okay. Um really want that sniper, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sell that for 95. Yep. I don't even care about health. Give me that sniper. Yeah, I can't I can't afford anything. That's fine though. Um, okay. Because yeah, well, it's gonna probably just be one big thing. I was gonna say bouncing bullets are kinda cool, but if it's just the one big boss, that doesn't necessarily help us, but okay, we're fighting the epic small here. Oh, what a oh jeez. Okay, okay. Okay. We did upgrade the sniper. Oh, okay, dude. Holy cow. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, I don't know if they're going in random directions or if they are specifically aiming for me. I don't know. I got an achievement called uselessness, and I don't really know. Uh, I don't know what, what that means. Okay, you know what? Ba da 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 that tornado Tornado's a little underwhelming. Um I'm not gonna lie. Nope, took damage. I only have one health here. We got this. Don't even worry about it. I know he's in his second phase. Don't even worry about it though. He's super saiyan now. He's super saiyan mole. What what are what are these? Oh my my sniper does not have the range I wish it would. Oh, okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. Oh, we are at half a heart here. I don't know if we got this. I don't know if we actually got this here. I might have lied to y'all. At least you don't have to get as close. We definitely want to stay far away. Actually, you know what? Every time he does that, let me just tornado. Boom. Boom. Okay, 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 okay. Where you at? Oh my gosh. Cause I gotta wait for Nope. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. Okay, okay, you know what? We'll try that. We'll try that one again here. But hey, you know what? I'm actually kinda good. We gotta go back to the shark. The shark was the play. The shark was the play. Though I think did we still earn some of these tokens here? We did. Um, let's upgrade the pew gun and let's upgrade the sentry gun. Uh, but we didn't earn any of the sponsors though. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's try the pew gun, the assault and the anvil. So we're going to go to going deeper here. Okay. We got this. We got this here. Um, we could either have frenzy, increase your shot frequency when your health is low, or immune to traps. I mean, that, that's such a good common part. Right, um, okay, yep. Give me a weapon early on. I don't even care. Having more wep- having better weapons off the bat is very, very good. Oh, I clicked out of the mod- <laughs> I click clicked out of the game again. Okay, th see, this is so much better than the shotgun. Shotgun just sucks, dude. Shotgun just sucks. Okay. Um, st oh, stim pack greatly strengthens your attacks, but at the cost of one health? Nope. Not taking that. Not taking that. One health is a lot. I mean, unless it's a permanent thing. I mean, it might be a permanent thing. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I should have tried. Anvil. Anvil. Okay, that anvil is a pretty, pretty, pretty good meme. 
Pretty good meme right there. That could actually be got good to save for a boss. I need to check and see if there's an item drop at some point in the future. Either way, I mean, this is... I guess six more uses? Six more uses of 60 damage? I mean, that's... It's kind of a lot. Kind of a lot. It's kind of a lot. Um, okay. A uh, lazy aim gun. Fast but not accurate? Fast but not accurate. Oh. I'm assuming that's not gonna shoot. I wonder how far- Ah, it shoots decently far. Shoots decently far. Shoots decently far. Okay, here we go. Oh, big buzz. So wait, traps don't hurt me, mister. Oh my, okay, this is, this is, okay. This is, this is, this is it. I mean, I, I wish my range was a little more, but that does a lot of damage. That's a good, that's an actual good weapon here. That's a good weapon. Oh my god, yeah, this is it. Oh, 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 oh. This is insane. Dude, the sound effect of those little guys is so horrifying. Oh man, okay. Oh, there's a lot of, oh, a lot of people here. There's a lot of people here. A lot of people. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let me see if there's anything up here. Whoa, wait, what is this? Oh, that looked like it was like a secret or something. Looked like that was a secret. Because I don't know, we unlocked something, right? But I still don't know really what it was. The like extra room type or something? Maybe it's like a very rare thing or something, I don't know. I got the encouraging words to uh, win on that couch right there. So you know that means we're gonna win this, uh, we're gonna win this. I think the fact that I'll actually have health, full health for the final boss, hopefully. I, mean, I don't wanna count my chickens before they hatch, but me not having to get up in their face. Um, two weapons or doesn't contain any special rewards. I mean, might as well, right? I see no reason to not do this. Wait, because we can also carry multiple weapons, can't we? Oh yeah, we can. We can. And press middle mouse button to switch between them. So that could be, that could, that could, that could, uh, oh, what is this, slidey? Some slidey thing? Do you even slide on that? Okay. Electric beam deals more damage the longer you hold down the fire button. What if we switch it with this? That's that. Oh, okay, see? That's a, that's a, that's a interesting. Let's try this one out. Let's try this one out here. Because this might be good against bosses. The problem is, is like, how, how long can you hold it on to it? Oh, oh my! Oh, I took damage. See, that's... Don't want to stand still for too long. Holy cow, though. That's probably really good for bosses. It's probably really good for bosses. Uh, rail gun, an instant hit with high damage but slow reload. Um, I mean, maybe this is a better... Oh, that's probably a better boss fight one. Because we're realistically, we're needing to, like, bullet hell a ton, right? So, let's try what this nail gun's like, though. Let's see what this nail gun be about. Oh, we missed. Because he was still spawning in. Okay, so, yeah. Whenever there's a lot of enemies, we probably want this thing here. Probably want this thing here. Oh, 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 ooh, here I am taking damage. Here I am taking damage. Boot! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, I got... Okay, I am one and a half health. Though the thing is, is we can sell our second weapon for a lot of money, right? That, that that gives us a lot extra health at the shops if we don't need to commit to having two, which if each thing's only gonna be one technical floor, each of the episodes, I don't know if the later episodes will contain more floors or not. Um, but if it doesn't, you never need, oh my gosh, I keep, I keep clicking, at least it pauses, at least it pauses. Uh, that would definitely be a piece of feedback I'd give is, oh my, I'm at half health. Um, definitely maybe make it where uh, you can lock a cursor on the window because I keep clicking outside of the window. Okay, there we go. Let's go. But I mean, for an early access game, I mean, this feels pretty polished for, you know, an early access game. Um, increase your shot frequency when your health is low. Uh, charges up a shield at the beginning of each stage. Let's take that. 
Let's take that. So what, we're gonna have to go through one more stage here before the shop, but at least we have armor here. At least we have armor here, okay. I'm gonna... Oh man. Oh my gosh, there's the armor! I don't wanna, oh my gosh. Okay, let's just railgun it here. It's just, oh, health, health, give me the health. Give me the health, okay, maybe this railgun's the play. Oh, there's just so many enemies now at certain points. Oh, this is, this is, this is getting bullet helly. Ah! Okay. Oh my, another wave? We're at half a heart here. We're at half a heart. Just get me away from them. Don't you spawn no more. Don't you spawn no more. Game! Oh, there we go. That's fine, because we can buy as much health as we need. We can buy as much health as we need here. Oh, med kit. Oh. Is this just gonna... Okay. That's actually perfect. I'm gonna buy nothing. Well, I probably still wanna buy something. Still still wanna buy uh, one, one health upgrade. So we'll have four health. We'll have the armor, and then we'll have three health here. Um, okay, there's a sniper. So, like, let's compare this. The sniper rifle does 104 per hit, and what does mine do? The railgun does 50 per hit? I mean, yeah. Let's let's sell this railgun here. 142, yeah. Um, okay, buy the sniper. Um, buy the health. What is this? Uh, you get a small chance to heal after you kill an enemy. Well, actually, that's probably not going to help us much. Probably should have rapid fire increases your attack. Probably should have taken that. Because we're not killing any enemies. It's, it's, it's the same big one enemy, so that's fine though. We got this. Who do you think I am? We got this. Boss, the epic small here. Okay, okay. We had a sniper last. Oh wait, anvil. Did that even do damage? Anvil. Okay, we are. We have that. We we, we saved that for a reason here. Okay, I think we got this. Cause that does effectively half of our sh uh, our sniper damage. Okay, so we already got him second phase. We still have one shield, three health. I think we got this. This this part was a lot harder though. Ah, see, I I'm having to wait for that auto aim. Oh, it's kicking. Oh, I, I took damage there. Oh, so that's the thing though. The shield effectively is only one. Oh, dang. Like, you, each thing does half a heart of damage, but a shield only protects you from one hit. So it's effectively only half a heart. At least the sniper's far range, right? We can normally, I, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We got this. We got this. Bam. Get out of here. Got an achievement, holy moly. Oh, now we got three of those uh, trophy things. Got three of those trophy things. Okay, okay. So we unlocked a new episode here. Okay, so let's go, let's go just look at what our upgrades are here. Okay, um, projectiles bounce, like, yeah, give me more bounces, that sounds lit. Um, let's upgrade the lazy aim gun. Let's upgrade the nerf gun. Let's upgrade the bandages, I guess. That gave it more uses. Okay. Um, unlocks boost stages. See, so I don't know if we saw what a social stage was. Unlock fame stages, mini drop, bosses drop an additional. So let's go ahead and, um, oh, these things, these things are expensive here. Um, increase the price that you sell items for in the shop. Fame stages. Yeah, I mean, well, let's just do that. Make enemies. So we could actually... Oh, that's interesting. Well, no, I think we want that. And so then we'll save up for the fame stages, because you always want to unlock all the um, cool things. Special items have shorter cooldowns. There's a lot of cool things in here. Uh, get more fame for killing enemies. Unlock additional stand in the shop. Healing stages. Oh, healing stages give you protective shield. Are there healing stages? Is that something that adds? Increase. Oh, unlocks healing stages. Yeah, okay. 
and weapon stages you get two rewards instead of one adds one perk machine oh yeah there's there's some there's some there's some interesting things here there's some interesting things here in the uh, in the sponsors or whatever so um, yeah overall uh, this has uh, you know been the uh, crack pet show uh, I think it's it's a very very promising early access game um, and um, you know I think the only feedback that I would give um, the biggest would be I, I I get where they were going for with the uh, lock on um, type of thing, but I think it would um, I think a lot of people would prefer a free aim system, you know, where you can actually aim freely. I got used to it and I kind of understood why it was doing it, but it, it definitely makes it um, you know feel a little bit different, which isn't a bad thing. Um, some of the other roguelikes, I think I think this game could um, maybe use you know something like that. That could be pretty cool. Um, and then other than that, just you know more content and stuff like that, like early access. I mean, there's all these episodes that we haven't even gotten to and stuff like this. I'm sure the um, you know multiplayer is pretty freaking cool. So I think this is a absolutely very good to start uh this is a better early access start than most other early access games that i have played um and so once again i just want to thank the you know publisher of crack pet show uh, and Indie Boost for sponsoring this uh, episode. You know, uh, for all of you guys, uh, you know, watching, um, you know, sponsorships really, really help me, um, you know, keep doing this channel. And I always only do sponsorships on games that I would kind of want to play or cover on my channel anyways. And I already had my eyes on this one anyways. So, you know, really hope you guys enjoyed this episode um, and this video. You know, make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, like all the big boy YouTubers say to be notified when more roguelite and roguelite content like this comes out. Uh, and if you guys are going to be grinding out some crack pet show on your own then i wish you guys luck and see you all next time